Question number four, Phil Twyford. My question is for the Minister of Finance. What recent progress? Uh, sorry, I beg your pardon. What Member reports? Order, Member. Order. The member will start his question again. What reports, if any, has the Reserve Bank had from trading banks on the effect of loan-to-value ratio lending limits on housing construction? Honourable Stephen Joyce. Mr Speaker, on behalf of the Minister of Finance, the Reserve Bank advises it has not received reports from trading banks on the effect of loan-to-value restrictions on housing construction. I would not expect to see such reports given the Reserve Bank's independence on macro-prudential policy. Supplementary. Supplementary question, Phil Twyford. What impact does he expect LVRs have on the government's housing policy, which claims to be focused on trying to increase supply, if, as Warwick Quinn of Master Builders predicts, they result in 3,000 fewer new homes built each year? Honourable Stephen Joyce. Mr. Speaker, on behalf of the Minister of Finance, um, that's a difficult uh, statement to reconcile with a statement made uh, by the Building Federation to my colleague, the Minister of Tertiary Education, Skills and Employment, at around the same time uh, when he said he was worried that there wouldn't be enough apprentices and enough people with skills to actually build all the houses. So I think we need to rationalise uh, where we are at here. Either there's not enough people around to build all the houses or there's not enough houses going to be built, and I'm sure we'll um, re resolve that situation. Supplementary, Supplementary question, Bill Twyford. Can he explain why the Prime Minister said, and I quote, I can't for the life of me see how it will affect home building, unquote, at the same time as the Reserve Bank is currently researching the impact on new builds of LVRs? Or should we give this statement the same credibility as the Prime Minister's earlier promise to protect first home buyers from the effects of LVRs? Honourable Stephen Joyce. Well, Mr Speaker, on behalf of the Minister of Finance, if housing prices are rising, that generally leads to increased supply over time. The issue is whether that supply is happening fast enough. Now, given that prices have been rising, it's entirely reasonable to say that more construction will occur. If the member is saying that won't happen, then he really does need to go back to Economics 101 and have a chat to the economics lecturers in the time. Supplementary. Supplementary question, Phil Twyford. Is he concerned that Treasury rubbished the government's changes to KiwiSaver and Welcome Home loans, saying they were questionable spending and would undermine housing affordability? And will he now concede they were a desperate attempt to distract attention from the damage that his housing policy is doing to first home buyers? Honourable Stephen Joyce. Mr Speaker, on behalf of the Minister of Finance, no, and it's interesting to note that the member himself said the policies were not big enough. So on the one hand he's saying he's, he's citing Treasury criticism, on the other hand he's saying he should do more, which actually is not inconsistent with his previous statements, which have been both in favour and against LVRs. Mr Speaker, the answer to this problem is to have a larger supply of housing. And that's why the Minister has done the special housing areas and announced 6,000 more houses to be built in Auckland, which of course the opposition opposes. Supplementary, Mr Speaker. Supplementary question, Phil Twyford. Will he admit that the government's housing policy is in tatters, with Treasury criticising recent policy announcements as ineffective and questionable, and recommending that the government consider policies like a capital gains tax and excluding offshore speculators, policies that he refuses to consider? Honourable Stephen Joyce. Uh, Mr Speaker, on behalf of the Minister of Finance, uh, the member might want to read the Treasury recommendations on capital gains taxes because the Treasury is keen to have it on all houses. And the trouble with having it on all houses, of course, is that affects everybody's family home. But that's what the Treasury is seeking. Now, if the member wants to line up with that policy, I would welcome his announcement in that regard, and I think the whole of everybody on this side of the House would. But in terms of capital gains taxes, Mr Twyford, the situation in Australia is they already have one, like the Labor Party policy, and their prices are going up even faster. Question number five, Melissa Lee. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. My question is to the Minister of.